History has it that Ikora Abasi, a local government area in Akwaibom state, was a major gateway into Nigeria apart from Lagos in the pre-colonial times. The community had a seaport through which some of the slave masters accessed the southern part of the country. This structure served as residence and office of Lord Frederick Lugard, who was the governor of both the Northern Nigeria Protectorate and the colony of the Protectorate of Southern Nigeria. He lived here with his spouse, Floral Shaw. This is where the amalgamation treaty was signed. Consequential artifacts have been left to corroborate history. The house is on elevated concrete pillars. It is a typical house of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It has a wide corridor supported by wooden pillars and big windows to cross-ventilate the offices. The whole structure is built with wood and corrugated iron sheets for the roof. The original roofing sheets are still here, but have turned dark brown with a good portion of it totally gone. A visitor must be careful to avoid slipping through the holes and sustaining injuries. Mama, be careful though, please, please. Here are the relics of Lord Lugard's office. His table, chair and his telephone are still here. Relics of old typewriter can be seen in this room that served as his secretary's office. A picture of Lord Lugard and spouse Flora Shaw is also here. The name Nigeria is said to have been coined by Ha. Some of the rooms are not accessible because of their poor state. The wood which serves as the floor is too weak to step on. A building, and this is a local government that actually you know, hosted the signing, the treaty, signed Nigeria to become amalgamation in the days, um, the year 1914. So ever since then, this local government has remained like that. And we're thinking uh, a lot should be done, you know, to revive, regenerate uh, these artifacts and then see how to publicly, you know, project the rich tourism potentials of this part of the country. Directly opposite the amalgamation house is Lord Lugard's residence. It's a story brick building made up of three rooms, neglected and now occupied by animals. This building is surrounded by other brick buildings used by Lugard's domestic staff. This location also brings to mind the popular Abba women riots of 1929, where women protested ill treatment by the colonial masters. The 72-year-old women's rights activist takes us down memory lane. We can date it from 1925, when women in Calabar protested. And we can add the protests of women in Abba, but we must not forget the protests of women in Utue Temekbu. Women died. In Abak, here in Akwaibum State, women died. And then the climax that now forced the colonial masters to do something was here in Ikorobasi. And so if it's to be given a name or a title reflecting a location, it should be Ikorobasi Women's War. Other landmarks here include the Bridge of No Return, which served as the major hub for slave trade. In response to these appeals, the state government says it has initiated measures to save the sites from extinction. We've identified the location that, of course, it's not been... Um, you know, managed properly the way it should be. And then we're trying to also identify every artifact in the, at the location, you know, the originality of all of those items to be sure that, of course, these are items that were there since 1914. If restored, this site could, apart from preserving Nigeria's history, attract revenue through tourism and boost economic activities in the community and the state.